good afternoon kings and queens in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i cook my sour sour i've got meat which is goat meat i had uh, one kg of it and i've got fresh turkey and um, it was one kg as well and i've got some cow, um, beef strip so and i've got some fish there i've got two fish i like i'm gonna fry them i like fried fish my son like fried fish so why not and i've got cow skin there that's cow skin i make sure they remove all the hair from it it's got loads of hair and i've got some onions i've got four onions and then three chili i'm just gonna blend one and then put the bulk one in because my son don't like chili i've got peanut butter the smooth one and I've got my mangi in there so I've got two type of mangi cube I've got this one and then the other um, star jumbo mangi as well so I'm gonna use two of the other one and then two uh, um, yeah two of the star as well and I've got that season my favorite season of all time you guys know that my jumbo aroma and I've got my vegetable oil I'm gonna use that to fry my fish that's it and I've got some salt because I've got so many sour sour so I had to like literally get some salt to add on to it. I normally don't cook with salt but I have to. So I'm using that pot to cook. So it's a salad master pot. It's like a pressure cooker. It cooks meat really quick so I'm going to use it to cook my meat. And I've got another pot over there which I'm going to use to cook my sour sour all together. So first off I'm going to season my fish. I'm using my jumbo aroma all purpose and I'm gonna use take a bit of it and then sprinkle it on it and mix it and then put it down for some minute before I start frying. So as you can see, I'm trying to mix it so that the season can get into all of it. And when I finish that, I'm gonna just um, put it aside and let the season get into the fish and I'll fry it later. So I'm going to use the salad master pot and I'm going to put all the meat in that pot to cook together. Yes, all the meat. So put in the cow uh, skin, the um, beef strip and then the uh, fresh turkey. Everything is literally going to go in there. So I'm take it fell down. So I'm going to rinse it. The beef, everything I'm going to put it in there and I season it and then I boil it. I'm literally putting everything in there yeah don't be like oh yeah all of that I'm not gonna cook together yes they're gonna cook together because that pot right there is a pressure cooker so it's gonna cook everything together to the time that I want it I'm still using my jumbo aroma to season the uh, meat and as you can see me doing it and I'm gonna add a bit of salt as you can see the meat is plenty so that season is not gonna be enough so I added a little bit of salt to it to make it taste good so you can use any season of your choice that's my favorite season at all time you guys know that that's my favorite <laughs> so i'm using boiled water i pre-boiled it already so that's what i'm using on it you can use cold water on it i just use boiled water because um i do i'm recording i don't have that long time to be waiting you know what i mean so i had to literally use the um, boil wet water but you can use cold water to boil your meat it does not matter there's no difference it's not going to show any difference so i'm going to put the um, meat on fire on the other side the bigger side on so i'm going to plug that on and then put it on for it to start boiling so i literally forgot to show you guys my sour sour that's the main thing of this dish so that's the sour sour it was a frozen one that i got from london shout out to my darling sister till day she got that from me in london when i was in london so she um i washed it and i will put it in the pot the bigger pot which i'm going to use to cook the whole food and i boil that sour sour you all know how tight this sour sour can be i mean they're so strong because definitely we don't know how, when last they get them from africa and stuff like that so i literally washed it put in the pot and add boil water to it i just like boil, adding boil water when i'm recording because i don't have time to be waiting for that cold water to be boiled all together from scratch you know what i mean so i just like adding my boil water so excuse my cat you guys so i add my boil water in there and i cover it i let it steam so after it steams 
and now I'm gonna wash it so I'm literally gonna just put in the uh, shiver I don't know how you guys call it but we call it shifter <laughs> so I'm putting it in there in the basket definitely it's a little basket so I'm gonna like um, wash it so squeezing it a bit because definitely I didn't get the chance to cut it myself normally you can slice it if you go like the fresh um, sour sour but I didn't get the fresh sour sour so I didn't get to slice it so I was literally just um, mashing it with my hand like you get what I mean like and then I did I did um, shiva it and shake the shiva just so it can be a bit smooth I'm gonna end up blending it anyway but I had to do that at least to get it a bit smaller to the um, actual um, size that I wanted so I finished and I washed the shiva the basket the little basket anyway you want to call it that's my shiva that I use for this process but it's a basket you can use anything that you got you know and it's not everything that everyone got where we live in this part of the world so use whatever you got I wash it I always make sure I wash my dishes when I'm cleaning when I'm cooking because at the end of the day when I'm done I wouldn't want to go back to the kitchen to clean so sometimes it just remain few stuff there so now I'm gonna blend it I've blend the pepper the uh, one chili and um, one onion so I'm gonna just put the sour sour in there and then try to blend it but I tried to blend it but it was not blended as much as I wanted so I added a little bit of water guys remember don't cook like me but that sour sour was too much it was like five plastic of it that I cook I just like cooking plenty that's me my husband would like it but that's how I cook so don't tell him so I cooked that um it's been ages since I ate sour sour so I wanted it really thick I wanted it to be really sour sour you know get what I mean like I wanted to get a feeling of it like I didn't want it too light like other people cook it I wanted it to be too it to be thick so that I would know that I've eaten this food that it's taking me ages since I've ever eaten it so that's why I blend the thing and when I'm done blending it and I stop the the blender of course and I open it checked it a bit show you guys in that <laughs> I put it back there I'm gonna use it but for now yeah so I rinsed my hand and then I came back to the meat now the meat was cooked but guys this meat was hot I literally wanted to use my hand to cut it it was too hot but it was cooked everything in there that part was cooked so I just turned it onto the other pot and it's why I'm doing this I fried the fish already I didn't show you guys how I fried the fish guys sorry I'll show you guys next time how I literally fry my fish I fry my fish in the fryer and the fryer deep fryer always so I put on my my thing in the uh, my meat in the pot and then I open the peanut butter and the mangi cube as I told you guys I use two of the other mangi and then two of the I use two each so four mangi the other one is like two that is in the pack so I use four of it in there. So I put the peanut butter and I put my mangi that I wanted to put in there. As you can see, I'm doing it. So I blend my onion and I fry fish. I fried two fish because I love fish and my son love fish. So I fried two fishes. So I, I slice my onion in the fish. Some of the onion that was um, left over, I like onion. Anybody that knows me knows I like onion. <laughs> I try not to put that much onion though. But I like onion. So I slice it and then um as you can see you can slide you can chop your onions guys you don't need to follow me you chop your onions if you like it i just like slicing and to excuse my knife i use my bread knife to do that because that was the sharpest knife i've got in this house so i had to use it so as you can see i'm just so i checked the pot i have not put water the water that was in the pot it was the water from the meat so i added boiled water guys i love my boiled water guys i don't play with my boiled water it was not enough for this process but i just wanted to add a little bit at least for a start so now i'm going to put the sour in there that's the sour the onion and the chili that will blend together so i'm just putting it in the pot excuse that my spoon is not that big but that's the one i like cooking with so why not so I'm just going to put it in there and stir it.
end up using my hand to do that because it was too slow and it was taking all my time so <laughs> i end up using my hand was washed so make sure you wash your hand all throughout the process and when i finish i wash my hand and i wipe my hand as you can see there so that's why so i was so much as i tell you guys i like cooking plenty of food because i like people to eat my food and i had to cook for my sister as well so i gave her some of the sour sour so i needed to make sure it's plenty for me to share with her as well so as you can see that sour sour is still thick so i'm literally going to add water in that pot because it's thick guys so i'm adding my fish and my onion that i slice so i'm just going to mix it stir it well so that the season and everything can go in there you know what i mean so yeah i see as you can see i added my water in there and then i mixed it as much as i i like and then i covered that to be cooked whilst that was boiling i cooked my fufu guys yeah, this video is not me uh, i add a bit of salt as you can see this video is not me showing you how to cook fufu so next video i might show you guys how to cook my fufu so i cook my fufu and yeah voila the sauce was ready and my fufu was ready as well guys i was ready to eat i was ready to dig in like i was hungry you know what i mean like i was hungry so now i mixed it just to make sure just to show off with you guys this soup was the best soup. It was so nice. This soup was so sweet. I really enjoyed my lunch that, um, and I had so much fun cooking it. It took me less than two hours to do all this process. Guys, I don't take long in the kitchen. That's me. When I get to the kitchen, I just go straight to the point and blah, 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 finish it and leave the kitchen. I don't like taking ages in the kitchen. So I'm just going to uh, put some sauce. Um, I didn't want to take too much meat because as you know, I was frying the fish. I had some fried fish in the process when I'm cooking. You, gotta, yeah, you can't just be hungry when you're cooking. You have to like do something, even if it's for you to make curry and eat. Just do something around there and just play around there and eat. So I did that. So I'm just going to put my sauce on there and that's it. I ate my fufu. It was really beautiful. It was nice. This food was sweet. So... Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and tune in for more videos to come. Let me know in the comments video if you want me to see, um, if you want to see any more video or any cooking video that you want to see. Just let me know in the comment section. So I think I'll leave you guys from here and I'll see you guys in my next video.